Right guys, it's the Ed Shed again, and the Ed Shed is going on an adventure with Clive. Because Clive is the Gordini man, the Gordini who man. has got a collection of Gordinis, and in fact he said he wants to have another child and call it Gordini. Gordini. So um, we're going to go in this, and uh, we'll let you know how we get on, because we haven't, I haven't seen it, and I'm not looking forward to it, but you know, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, bye for now. There we go. Right, guys, we came to pick up a Renault. <laughs> Was it a Gordini? R8 there she is. Gordini. An R8 Gordini. Now, look at that little thing. Uh, very, very nice condition. Bit of love and affection needed. It's obviously not one for me, but it is pretty in its own way. Sort of reminds me of a Vauxhall HAV, doesn't it? Yeah. That's square. Sort of the square yeah. shape, yeah. But uh, so he's. It's not bad condition, as you can see. It's going to get done, and it's going to get lots of sort of love and attention from young Clive, who's going to make it lovely again. There we are. We're just tying the doors on at the moment because we've got to try and get on the back of the truck. And I'm hoping that bonnet is not attached. Is it? This is the R8 stuff. Now, lovely set of wheels. Avanti. Roll cage? Yep. Was that? A few gearboxes. A few gearboxes. Yeah. Is this? This is all of it. This is all the R8 stuff. And this is obviously this is what Clive said. You're going to store for him. <laughs> is that what's that? Dashboards. He's got R8. One's an R8 Gordini one, which is rocking awesome. Yeah. The other is an R8 S, probably even rarer. Yeah. And all of it, all of it, all of it, but. He's only got enough to build one car. And a few radiators. I don't think they have the bumpers off it though. Are they? Oh, that's old school. Yeah, I was going to say, we want them on it. But there we go. So, we've got that. We're not taking that though. That's not coming over today, is it? That's staying there. So, he's got a few doors. But he's got the other one. That he, but it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, has he sold one of them, he said? Yeah, I think he just said he sold that, but that, that, that other rusty thing he had in the garden. Let's get a bit of the ambience of this, what it should look like. Here we go. Oh, yes, and I can see it with them wheels on it. Oh, that? Yeah, that looks nice. With the big arches. With the big arches. Were they originally steel? Yes. Oh, yeah, there's, there's steel this arches is. there, but that, some of them will have like little bubble arches. Yeah. But this is actually like the wide body arches. That's the wide body. That, that's and that looked good with them wheels, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. There you go, you see. That's what it's gonna look like. Clive says he can have it done by next week. Yep. Yeah. I'm on it. He's on it. He's on the case. I'm on it. Anyway, so talk to you soon. Well, hiding in this shed, we found something else. A barn find. Now look at that. Now that is a beautiful car. Oldsmobile. Lots of chrome. But a very unusual, pillarless estate car. And isn't that pretty? Now I'm not a sort of a, look at that, look at the back end. I mean, that's gorgeous. The way, the way it opens and comes to pieces. I mean, I could see some American housewife in California going at the salt of the sea with that one, can't you? But that is stunning, that is really stunning. And you've got a spare back, there's a spare one. Yeah, that is actually off of a Buick. Well, a Buick version of this little yeah. fit. Yeah, and because it's got these... The ribs. The ribs. The chrome ribs. Which then carry on along the roof. Now this, this one is going to be restored, isn't it? Or or or, or, or renovated. It's going to be restored. Restored. Probably, probably have the body off the chassis. Body off chassis. But that's it. That's that's a lot of work, but what a beautiful looking car. I do think the, the back end with those little... Look at the little spaceship rear <laughs> They're funny, are they? They loved Americans, loved to have those. It was all the 50s, wasn't it? That idea of rockets and rocket rockets, yeah. Rockets. What engine originally then? 371. 371. And that would be a automatic on the column? Or on the floor? Automatic, yeah. On the, on the on column. The column yeah. Not push button or anything really no, no, trendy. No, no, no. no. Well, I must admit, that is a, a very interesting car. Does it, will this door open or is it. Uh, you can stick your hand inside it, you know. Ah, no, it's one of the window. Oh, well, I, I don't know where the hat will be hiding there, but I can't even, I can't even get my hand down there. <laughs> my hand's too big. But if we can get in and we'll open the door, 
Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? No? Well, that's a shame, but uh, if we can open the door, we will. The simple reason is, is for some reason, the outer handle doesn't seem to want to play ball. Uh, no, he's just caught, that's it, there he is. Yeah. Don't, get your, <laughs> don't, don't get your hand in the window. Originally white? No, it would have originally been the colour that was in the tailgate, which was like bronzy colour, that sort of grainy colour. I think you are, it's, I mean, it is lovely. I think it's beautiful. I just think it's just, every car is so unique, unique style. Yeah, He probably locked it up to avoid all the stuff getting nicked out of it. Go on. There we go. Right, no. No. You have a look at that. Well, that on the screen pillar. On the pillar. Oh my god, yeah. And it goes into the floor. That is stunning, isn't it? And it, and it stretched away. You know, like I think we've gone back to that idea, haven't they? With the was those silly Renault McGann's or something, it was the Scotland idea and said the Renault. Check that for a minute. Yeah, sure that one. And I just want to get a look to see. Right. So when that one's down, the quarter light stays up. Yeah. That funny. And that this beautiful idea. I mean, that is a very, very interesting idea, that. And it just makes it look so. But it almost makes you look like they used the a balloon version. Cheers. And then put a roof panel on yeah. it. Cheers. And the back windows would obviously be unique, wouldn't they? Yeah. I just remember on some of the ones they used to imagine they used to tailgate would go down. Yeah. You had the tailgate, you could the retract yeah. the tailgate down into the But yeah. Very nice looking car. And I think you how long do you think it's gonna take you? Well it's more getting started. That's the problem. <laughs> you gotta blow the tires up first, that'll always help. So if the body comes off the chassis, it's gonna be at least two years. Two years. Yeah. Because all I've already got all the trim, all the trim's done. Yeah, well you've you got the you've got the trim of the engine, haven't you? Done. So that's yeah. that's a, that and then paint wise, well yeah. But I mean she looks California car, she does look in very good condition. I think that's lovely the way the bottom of that doors is rounded. Such style, wasn't it really? They just they just couldn't sort of I don't know, they just they just made them look just incredibly beautiful. That's the other side of it. So that's one that uh, obviously this gentleman is going to restore. So anyway, if you enjoyed that, guys, we got a few more, haven't we, Heidi? Yeah, yeah. So we will have to come and have a do another look at some of this because we have got a few interesting ones. Anyway, so like I said, guys, if you enjoyed that and you want to see some more, please feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, you'll get some more interesting stuff when we get it. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.